we have got a compressor from an old refrigerator. For start we need to check windings. One winding is for work and the other just for start. Between working winding is the lowest resistance and starting winding has the highest resistance accordingly. So we connected the wire and for start we have to make a short circuit between those pins. To show how it works we put a shop bag.
decompressor was assembled, pressurized and tested, after disassembled, painted and now we are about to put all parts together, finally. And I will share my opinion at the same time, for people who have a free compressor from a fridge and a couple free own cylinders. I will tell you if this is worth or it not. Here I'm going to place the compressor from an old refrigerator. This one is able to pump up to 6 bar or 87 PSI. I don't know about other motors. Up to 4 bar or 58 PSI. The compressor is able to work uninterruptibly, even one hour. I have tested. When it reaches 5 bar or 72 PSI, the compressor becomes a bit warm. In long term working, you get overheating. And after, it takes a long time to cool down. That's why I decided to put underneath a piece of aluminium. I cut out rubber pads from old bicycle tube to prevent pain scratches and also these pads serve as shock absorbers because the compressor has intensive vibrations. Who wants to build such a cheap compressed air tank? I highly recommend to use springs or something else as shock absorbers. The general feature is it very silent compared with regular compressors. For air filtering. I choose a fuel filter and I am easily connecting to the pipe. Tight it up with a metal tie wrap. Cooper pipe allows to bend it inside. For the compressor and air tanks connection, I bought gas cooper pipes and other necessary accessories. Here you can see a pipe which comes out from the compressor. This pipe is 6mm and 8mm for the second cylinder. The right cylinder has a pipe about 15mm and other equipment such as a relay, quick release couplings. The compressor pumps both cylinders. The left one serves as an extra cylinder when the right one loses pressure instantly. The relay I should place here. We left just to solder wires and connect them in the proper way. While I'm doing this, I can tell you why I think that you don't have to do this, especially in such a way by yourself. Even if you want to build a similar compressor, you definitely have to consider at least two cylinders. Because if you're gonna use only one, your compressor will be more like a toy or a showpiece because of low volume. We spend more money than we expected. Besides the compressor and Freon cylinders, we had to purchase a lot of accessories, fittings, copper and plastic pipes, connectors, a relay, and so on. The checklist will be available in the description. I don't recommend our approach for people who want just a simple compressor. Because adding extra $50 dollars 
you can buy a completed compressor from a store and don't study rocket science. But if you are inspired by DIY art and you wish to build it by yourself or maybe it's a challenge for you and you have enough time, go ahead. During the procedure I got a lot of pleasure. Also, I wanted to make a lid. You open it up, put all blowgun and other stuff back and close it. And you can keep it like this. And also transport with your car. So, let's run it to check. No, no way. It's not from the compressor, as you might think. Although, many people used to hear such annoying noise when they are visiting an auto repair shop, for example. One of the main advantages is lack of noise. It's very silent and sounds like a fridge. You can see that manometer immediately moves the arrow. We should wait 10 or 15 minutes to gain pressure 5 bar or 72 psi. Now we have near to 6 bar or 87 psi and the safety wall is about to open. We are going to turn it off for a while because we need to blow dust from the graphic card out. We will mount this graphic card into the table. First of all, it was an idea to build a custom Thing smart table with a PC inside with thickness 6 cm or 2.3 inches. We can wash it and uh, to use a vacuum cleaner it's not enough. That's how we came up with an idea of a custom compressor. Who is curious to take a look at the final result of the smart table with all bells and whistles? Hit subscribe button because very soon we're gonna unveil this project. So, the relay is about to stop pumping and open the safety wall. I have adjusted the system and now the wall will be open from 8 or 9 bar or 116 or 130 psi. I'm going to lose air until 6 bar. 87 psi to show you that the relay will start pumping. Cool, it works. 